this is where we make the leap where we notice that it's not the same we look at the titanic data set so as we saw before we have various data sets that come included with R so that way you know we can mess around with them and learn how to use R so we began by looking at you know the islands data set which is your standard nice and easy data set just a list of islands and what size they are and so if you have a list of islands you can go ask oh what's the average size let's plot them and that kind of thing and that's important you know you want to feel comfortable in the system you want to feel okay i know the basics walk before you run that kind of thing and that would be traditional analysis you know you just have sizes and then we did we looked at quandle we looked at the average global temperature and there again you know you just have a list of years and what the average temperature was and there you can kind of see when you do the scatter plot that there seems to be a, a pattern the temperature seems to be going up and so we go one step further we actually fit a model to it and again R has a wide range of models inbuilt and we use the simplest one a linear regression so we produced a line and we plotted it but when we get to the titanic data it's complex there are lots of things there but it's not really clear what's going on I mean what would be the answer do I plot so I've got Titanic plot Titanic hmm complicated so we first need to look and try and get our head around what this data set is what are we supposed to do with it so there's at least it says Titanic class okay and I see first, second, third crew. Okay. Over here we have sex. Male, female. Okay. And this child. So this seems to be if you have people with first class who are traveling first class do you have child and adult and then you have male female okay so it, it is just data you know there's no um, there's not one number yes and no can't see what that is So I'm going to go back to the data so when I typed in Titanic 
it has it has all these numbers so what's that say age child well we we, we noticed there was child and adult survived ah I didn't see that in the plot I look over here okay so yes and no seems to be about survived okay so now I'm beginning to form a picture if, if you pardon the pun so this would be first class passengers children male so this would be boys this is how many survived this is how many didn't girls how many survived how many didn't okay and this is adult so this is men how many survived because yes is lower how many didn't so for men there seems to be about two people died for every one that didn't for women far more survived than died so from this we can kind of go okay the women and children first kind of picture shows up in the data now we look at second class passengers far fewer seem to have survived like the ratio of died and didn't I mean, far more people died compared to survived when it came to second class um, passengers third class again higher ratio than first class I can't I would need to go the second class was higher I don't know what the width means here so um, if the width means more hmm not immediately obvious and crew again not obvi obvious so actually if I go to the data uh, it's it's nicer to me just looking at the table so I can see that child survived equals no so died none so no boys and girls died who were traveling first or second class there were deaths in on third class twice as many boys as girls and I don't know how many boys and girls traveled in total so so basically with this more complex data you are trying to tell a story trying to get a picture of what was going on and then you can try and probe it so that's the first thing secondly you want to repackage the data so as the data is I can't easily go oh what's the uh, number of boys who died divided by the boys who didn't die I'd like to be able to go Titanic in a bracket uh, child male survived put those three in and tell me the number so I'll give it a go didn't like that so we want to learn how can I structure the data so that I'm, that I'm, so that I'm able to do that and then produce plots which clearly kind of give a give insight into what was going on to what happened 
So that's where we're trying to get. And we're faced by those problems once we get more complicated data sets, beginning with the Titanic one. So we'll do that, and then we'll look at another few complex data sets, which were bundled with R.